Math 31, I had a question for number 93 off of section 3.4. And this was asking us to find the area of this ripple as a function of time. And they specifically said find the area of the ripple when t was equal to 2. All right, so we knew area was pi r squared. And they gave us r as a function of t. So they actually told us in the problem r of t, if I want to find the radius, take 25 times the square root of t plus 2. All right, so r here stands for radius, right? And we know that the area formula for circle is pi r squared. So if I could find the radius, I could plug it into that pi r squared formula and be done. Well, they told us the ripple, or we wanted to find the ripple at t equaling 2. So let's go ahead and see how large was this ripple from this raindrop two minutes after it hit. So r of 2 would be equal to 25 times the square root of 2 plus 2. All right, that's 25 times the square root of 4. That's 25 times 2, which is 50. All right, well, if that's the radius, then I can plug that number into the formula pi r squared, and I would find out that my area is pi times 50 squared. Right, and then if we do 50 squared, that's 2,500. So my answer is 2,500 pi. And that's what you see me doing over here. If I wanna actually find area as a function of time, instead of r of t, I'm gonna write our particular function, which was 25 square root of t plus two. And then here you see me actually plugging in the t value of two, working all that arithmetic and winding up with 2,500 pi. So that, that's function composition uh, through an area problem. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.